Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle. So you've got an amazing Revit model and you want to bring it into Power BI for data visualization while viewing your model in 3D. You can mess around with a bunch of exports, spreadsheets, etc., and try to make it work and fail. Or you could just use Speckle. Speckle makes it super easy to connect your Revit models into Power BI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we begin, make sure you have a Speckle account. You can go to app.speckle.systems and sign up for an account. And also make sure you have Revit and Power BI connectors installed. Link for the installers is in the description down below. So if you have everything set up, let's start by publishing our model from Revit. Within Revit, open the model. You want to publish to Speckle. And once you install the Revit connector, a new tab with the name Speckle should appear. Simply click on that and open Revit connector. We're going to publish a model. So I'm just going to select Publish. And your projects will be listed within this dialog. If this is your first time using Speckle, you can start by creating a new project. I'm going to name my project Snowden Tower since this is the name and a new project has been created. Now we need to select a model to publish to. Since I don't have any models within this project, I'll go ahead and create a new model. This is a structural model, so I'm just going to name it Structural and select Create. And publishing to Speckle is as simple as making a selection and selecting Publish. And that's it. Your model is now in Speckle. Easy, right? And next step is actually getting this model in Power BI. And we start doing that by copying the model URL from the web app. You can either get it directly from the URL bar or click on Share and Copy Link. And now open Power BI. Go to Get Data and search for Speckle in the data sources. Select Connect to Speckle and select Connect. I will accept the warning and simply paste the model URL in the field and select OK. If it's your first time using the Power BI connector, you'll need to log in. And the easiest way to do that is by signing in with your Speckle account. Let's click on Sign In. And it will ask you to, you know, enter your credentials and password, etc. Do all of that. And now you're logged in. Once you're logged in, Power BI will save your credentials. So you won't have to log in every time you load a model from Speckle. Let's select Connect. And with that, your data is now in Power BI in a tabular format. I'll select load, and the next step is actually turning this tabular data into a 3D data within Power BI. And we can do that by going to Visualizations pane, select Get More Visual, import a visual from a file. I'll accept the warning, and we need to go to this path, Documents, Power BI Desktop, Custom Visuals. If you've installed the Power BI connector, a new folder with the name Custom Visuals will get created in the Power BI Desktop folder. I'll select the 3D Visual PBI Vis file and select Open. And that's it. Your 3D Visual is now added to your Power BI and we can add it to our report. And this visual is going to ask for three inputs. Version object ID, object ID, and tooltip data. And lucky for you, these fields are auto-generated by our Power BI connector. So it's as simple as dragging and dropping the inputs into their fields. And tooltip data is just like any other Power BI visual. I'm going to use object IDs as the tooltip data. And look at that. Our tabular data is now in 3D within Power BI. You can zoom, pan, rotate, do all of that. You want to make it even more powerful? Add other visuals into Power BI. And the Speckles 3D visual will automatically isolate and highlight the selected elements. And that's it. You just unlock the whole new way to visualize your BIM data within Power BI. Let me know if you faced any issues while following this tutorial at speckle.community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.